Okay, and is she even tired? Let's see. She's not even really tired. I want her to go um sit somewhere, read her book. Let's see. She's still reading. She wants to woohoo Jeb. Oh, she's going to woohoo. I want him to read books too. Everyone's going to read a book. So don't worry about it. I'm going to have them reading books throughout. Oh, she brought home excellent cheesesteak and didn't tell me. So it almost went bad in her pocket. So we put that in the fridge. That's going to be dinner tomorrow then. So, yeah, everyone's set up to read the baby books. And nobody's tired. So I'm just going to let them stay up. See, they sat out on the porch together reading the books. That's nice. So I'm going to let them read the books. And then I'll send them to bed when they are tired. And we will be back in the morning. Okay, so it's the next morning, and everybody finished reading those books. I'm very proud of them for reading the books. They should never actually need these books again, but I guess it would be good things to pass along to the children that they will one day have, especially since now Lindsay is pregnant with Jeb's first child. We're going to do everything we can to make sure that Lindsay is well All oh, She's already nauseous, um... Uh, that's not good, especially since we kind of need her in the garden right now. She has a day off from work, at least. Um, everyone needs to start getting up, tending to the garden, because, uh, everything is in bloom now. Everything looks good, too, doesn't it? What, what the heck is that that we grew? Are those carrots? I didn't know we planted carrots. Can carrots make wine? I've never heard of carrot wine. I know carrot juice is good for you. I never heard of carrot wine, though. Anyway, we're going to wake her up. Uh, she's probably going to have her morning sickness, and then we'll need her to tend that garden. Uh, there's also no books on winemaking, so we might try and take a stab at making wine today. Uh, Jed's probably going to do some um, more meetings at work, so maybe the wives will be trying to make wine today and not necessarily Jeb. Uh, oh, he can't do meetings for a while? Can't hold him at this hour. Okay, it is kind of early to hold a meeting. Can you imagine if your boss said 7 a.m. meeting? Wait a minute, that's realistic. Well, technically right now it's 621. Okay. So maybe that's not realistic. A 6 a.m. meeting or a 630 meeting? Then again, haven't don't lawyers have meetings like at that time? I've known lawyers that have had meetings super late at night. How is she? Is her... Okay, her nausea is not so bad right now. Good, good. She's not throwing up or anything. Let's just take care of this beautiful garden we have. It's probably hot right now, unfortunately. We'll probably need it to actually rain soon to help us out a little bit. But all the ladies are in the garden, working together. And none of them are wearing the same outfits anymore. Because they all got their makeovers. I never got their hair done, though. I was trying to think, like, should I change their hair? But then I think, like, if I changed everything about them, it might be kind of hard to tell them apart a little bit. Like, if I changed their hair styles and hair colors. But, um, there's nothing really wrong with their hair. They look fine to me. Jeb still has the same outfits because that's his favorite outfit. There was no reason for him to change it. And everyone sounds like they're happy. They're working in harmony. Ooh, I should put a radio outside so Lindsay can hear the music and focus on twins. <laughs> but, um, I'm not gonna go through all that. We'll see what happens for her. If she happens to have twins, we will be happy. But it's not necessary. See, the nausea's getting to her now. She has to go through her morning sickness. Okay. It's okay, boo-boo. Don't worry. She's just with child. It's, it's not like, uh, the end of the world or anything. She'll be fine. You running? Okay, I was about to say, don't run to the bathroom all the way upstairs. It's okay, honey. It's okay. Ugh. Ugh. Yep, that that what being pregnant does to you. And, and don't tell me the toilet's broken. Don't let it overflow. That's gross. Okay. Uh, she. Uh, you need to get back in the garden though. She's like, I'm sick though. I'm like, yeah, but there's a lot of garden here. We still need your help, honey. We, we know you're you're nauseous because you're with child and it's a beautiful miracle you're carrying. But you also need to carry your weight around this household. They probably won't be done till almost noon. Cause it is a lot of garden to go through even though it's a lot of them working together. Could you imagine if Jeb only had one wife and he had to do all this by himself? It would be almost impossible. 
But I think this garden so far is going really good. She's still nauseous. She's going to be nauseous for the next two hours. Sophia just went to woohoo with Jeff. She didn't get to last night because I sent them directly to bed um, after a night together. And since technically her and Jeb um, aren't going to be uh, spending the night together tonight because tonight is actually uh, Alicia's turn again. So I guess they're going to have to find time to, to woohoo or she's going to have to wait till her next night to be with Jeb again. Okay, so now it's almost 10 o'clock. So definitely now, once he's done, he should be able to hold some meetings. Okay, great. Hold some meetings, Jeb. These are all the things that are important. Like, he's going to spend most of his day out doing meetings. And the wives are going to be spending their day just chilling around the house until they have to go to work. I don't think anyone works today, though. No, Alicia got to go to work again. Alicia never get days off from work like that. Oh, no, she only works three days a week. So how come it feel like she always working? I guess just in the past couple of hours that I've been playing, it just feels like she works forever. So uh, Lindsay and Sophia go back to work soon. Yeah, Lindsay's working today. I don't know if they'll actually make her because her stomach may pop. No, probably not, right? You know what? She'll probably pop before she has to go back to work on Monday. So she probably won't be actually going back to work. Well, while she's home, she should focus on her painting and stuff because she doesn't really get a chance to do it. Oh, she has to go throw up again. Oh, poor Lindsay. This, this is the second time she's thrown up today. Morning sickness is really getting her down. Poor baby. Well, at least she's doing it where no one can see. And she's having cravings now. She's having cravings for macaroni and cheese. Uh, I don't think we can make macaroni and cheese at this time of day. And I don't think she even knows how to cook it. Maybe um, Alicia can make it for her. Does she know how to make mac and cheese? Maybe for dinner she can make mac and cheese so Lindsay can get that craving out of the way. Um, Jeb is finally going to go do his meetings. Um, he's a little stinky. I probably should have told him to go take a shower first, but I didn't. So, um, he has all this food in his pocket. Let's put it in the fridge. Oh my gosh, all these fresh vegetables and fruit we have. We are going to be making food that tastes so good, so fresh. Definitely good for the babies. And when they have children, their children will be eating fresh food. And she went off to go paint. Did everyone finish in the garden then? Yeah, everybody's finishing the garden. The garden does look really good. Um, we need to get like fertilizers and stuff like that, I think, or maybe that's just a little bit too ambitious to be using that much uh, fertilizer all over the place. I think the lady should just have some fun, watch some TV, let them chill out and rest for a bit. I'm gonna let Lindsay take it easy because you know, we, she's pregnant, she's nauseous, all that kind of stuff. But I want Alicia and Sophia to focus on the winemaking stuff because no one's done that yet. And Jeb got some royalties, hold on, for his two bucks. Colt earned him $72 and the Lonely earned him $59. He needs to get back into writing. He needs to write a follow-up to Colt. It's a shame that he hasn't had a chance to bring people into his way of life that's already outside of the household. Uh, he should do, like, some type of party or event to let people know about that. I think that would be good. Uh, so let's get out ingredients for winemaking then. I, I don't know what qualifies as winemaking. When I add fruit, can I add it directly from the fridge or no? Nah? No, I probably had to do what's in my pocket, right? Okay, so let's get to the kitchen. We have 40 apples. What in the world are we doing with 40 apples? Eh, maybe 10 in our pocket? I don't know how much of stuff you need to make wine. We only have six grapes in the pocket, though. Oh, no, we have more grapes. We bought some beautiful wine home from um from France, too, but we're saving it for our anniversary, pretty much. So when we get a chance, we'll just go into the barn and make the wine. And I did move it into the barn because I realized that it's probably hot outside. Ladies trying to make wine, and it'd be nice if they did it inside where they can keep their temperatures regulated. See, I'm using big fancy words like regulate it. <laughs> She's going upstairs to wash the dish. Are you really? Oh, shoot, she got to go to work? Oh, she got two hours. Well, let's see if we can make some wine in two hours then. All she has to do is take this shower really quickly. 
Thank goodness we have at least one shower that doesn't take us forever to make. And I don't think you have to stand there while it makes the wine. You, oh, it broke. Uh, when Sophia's done, she can call the repair technician because it's important that that bathroom is fixed because we love that bathroom. That and th that's her bathroom. That she was wasn't she about to use that bathroom till it broke? No, she was just she's just tired. She doesn't even need to be, use the bathroom right now. Anyway, let's get into the barn. We don't use the barn often. It's all empty. It used to just have hay in it, and we don't have horses or nothing. So, uh, did I didn't I say like add all this fruit to it? Oh, shoot. Uh, we was gonna add the fruit, though. Well, anyway, she's off. <laughs> Can we take her fruit before she gets... She's probably already in the car. Work, um, as usual. She doesn't need to suck up to her boss. I hate that she does that. So often, she sucks up to the boss. Please, we're gonna take all your fruit and put it in Sophia's pocket, because Sophia's the only one home now. She's calling the repair technician, people. And now we got some dirty laundry here, so let's add more fruit. Can we add more here? Because it don't look like there's anything in there. Oh, I, I, we got to squish. Okay, we're going to squish then. She's upstairs. She's still painting. She's not squishing anything. Ooh, but she's hungry and needs to take that shower. She'll probably stop painting soon, though. How's his stuff at work doing? Nothing. He's, like, doing nothing. But Sophia is making that wine, and she's looking like she's kind of getting... Fun, she's kind of giggling to herself in her bikini. <laughs> uh, uh, well, at least she took that shower, so we know her feet aren't dirty. Yeah, his meat and stuff, it just don't feel like it's going up at all. Like, it, at least it's not a frowny face or a neutral face anymore, though. Ooh, the wine looks good. Can we bottle that? Or no? Uh, make basic nectar, I suppose. And while she does that, I guess she can squish that. Because I don't think you have to stand next to it while it does it, do you? No, you got to crank it the whole time? Or no? I don't remember. I haven't made wine in a long time. I guess she is making it herself. This is strenuous work. I wish she had a partner to help her now. But everyone's busy. And she's pregnant. So that's, that's the busiest you can be. She's making wine. She's making a baby. You can't compare the two. Usually one results in the making of another. Wine usually makes the babies. <laughs> the drinking of the wine, anyway. Usually the drinking of the wine leads to the making of the babies. So it's all a process. <laughs> um, she did good with that painting. She can sell that one. $81. That's not bad. She's tired and she's hungry, so I'm gonna let her do that first, obviously. But, ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I'm glad I didn't miss that fall. I feel bad for her, though. But, hey, we, we in the wine-making business now. I wish we could actually sell these bottles. If we could actually take these bottles and sell them to a grocery store, that would be fantastic. Are you allowed to do that? Can you sell the wine you made? We should have, like, a wine and cheese party and invite people over to tell them about the lifestyle we live. That would be good. Judge just got out of another meeting... And it's still just a happy face. The status is great, though, but it's not going any higher. Now that all the berries are squished, let's make some more wine out of it. She got to crank all the knobs and turn all the dials and bang the doohickeys and all that kind of stuff. I don't know how you make wine. I don't know. I'm just saying words that sound like noises. Like, she's going to clean the clang, the chingity ching, the, the bang bang. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. And then I want her to clean up that one piece of dirty clothes that's just sitting there. Uh, I guess every time you change your clothes, something's going to show up there. So we need, like, a laundry basket in this room then. Because they always got to change into their bikini when they're squishing the wine, right? So, like, where's the uh, baskets, the laundry baskets? Where do you find them at? How do I not know where laundry basket is? These, these are the questions people okay here's laundry baskets finally starting to get a bit concerned i'll just put it in the corner right next to the door she's still cranking the knobs turning the do hookies and there's a big pile of hay here we could woohoo with jeb in this pile of hay whenever he gets back home but for right now uh he's not home so she's gonna go do the laundry are you really just gonna 
put it in there. I, I actually thought you could actually do the laundry. How about that? Do the actual laundry. She's like, it's not fair. If I was pregnant, I wouldn't have to do laundry. Yeah, but you don't want to have children right now. If you had said, hey, I'm ready to have my first child, oh, uh, you wouldn't be doing laundry. <laughs> How come Alicia doesn't want children either? She wants to watch a wild horse. Uh, we need to mop this up too, because this puddle's not good. Oh, apple nectar. Yay, we made some nectar. So yeah, make nectar work over 15 simoleons. Okay, and drink nectar. I bet you do. I bet she wants to. Um, What? No. No, there will be no zombie in around here. Hell to the naw. Oh, no. I don't, I don't do zombies in normal Let's Plays. The only zombies I deal with are in Colony 13, and that's done, hun. So no more zombies for me. Jeb, in fact, Jeb need to take his behind on home if zombies are gonna come and try and mess up our day. Plus, he's hungry, and he stinks. So he should eat. Who else is hungry? Everyone's just tired. No one's really hungry. Alicia's not home. I'm kind of, like, saddened that the other women besides Lindsay don't want to make children. Like, why not? I think Jeb should make children with these women Sophia we are no she just wants to have fun so maybe that's why she doesn't want to but why not Alicia though come on Alicia you need to make with the babies too but right now Sophia just wants to have some fun in the hot tub Lindsay is reading a book okay that's nothing wrong with that she could be painting though like she loves to paint she could be painting see now the zombie folk are coming which I hate Hate zombieing around. Everybody need to get home. Uh, Jeb mood is so bad and it's getting so late. He probably can't even do another meeting even if he wanted to. Um, but we got more apple nectar. Since Lindsay's not like having like nausea or vomiting or anything, uh, you know she should be popping soon. And now that we got the wine made, we need to take the nectar. Add food place ingredients for well, we'll just add the fruit and take that nectar as well. So you're gonna have to get out the hot tub. I'm just annoyed at their zombies, okay? And we need to turn on all the lights. Is there a zombie in that backyard over there? No, that's just a glowing light that's creepy. Okay. Fair enough. And I want her to come home immediately when she's done from work. I don't want there to be no zombie in around for her neither. Don't nobody get bit. Don't nobody become a zombie or we shoot you in the head. Uh, she's tired. She's probably too tired to make wine. But she can at least put the fruit in the basket, right? Is that enough to make wine? I don't know if that's enough to make wine. Oh, she has to squish it. She's probably too tired to squish it. Uh, Alicia made $1,000 from work today. Good for her. Uh, Alicia, I'm so glad you're home. You're going to move clothes to the uh, laundry. She wants to become a business partner. Now, you know what? Being a business partner is not a bad idea. That's actually a really fantastic idea. And uh, Sophia still wants to be with Jeb. Uh, and I want them to go woohoo in that hay. And I know even though she doesn't really want one, they could maybe try for a baby? I don't know. She's pretty tired, though. I would kind of feel bad if I was like, yeah, let's make a baby even though you don't want one. Well, she doesn't necessarily say she don't want a baby. She just didn't come out and be like, yeah, I'm ready to make babies now, you know? And I feel like, you know, it's not fair that Lindsay's the only one pregnant. They should all be getting pregnant. So I think he should woohoo in the hay with his ladies. And I think, you know what? Everyone pretty much is going to have tomorrow off except for her. Uh, maybe they should both go here together and uh, try and make babies. Let's go here with Sophia. We're going to try and, and make babies in this hay, for real. Where is she? Okay, she was going to bed. Not tonight. Oh, she's popping. Lindsay's popping during a full moon. Oh. She's prego, and she put laundry in the wrong spot. Don't do that. Oh, and she's going to go vomit the last of her, uh... Oh, yeah, she's sick. Uh, she wants to have a girl. Okay, uh, we got to uh, move one of these. I guess we'll move the mac and cheese. Who, whose turn? It's Alicia's turn in bed with Jeb, okay? 
So Alicia, she can get into bed with Jeb over here. She don't have enough energy to make one either. They are gonna have a romp in the, hey, where is she at? She's still in the house downstairs, really? Don't you wanna get it in with your hubby? He's uh, ha having fun in the hay, he won't wait forever. See, he's sitting here, he could get attacked by a zombie cause you're taking forever to come here so y'all can roll around in the hay. Now are they actually gonna go woohoo in the hay? It looks like it. They're on a great date, they're running to the hay. Yay, we're gonna have some fun in the hay. We ain't gotta buy our own hay. And I'm glad there's still no zombies. So yeah, let's, let's get into that hay, Sophia. A romp in the hay. Sophia is like acting hesitant. You've never been hesitant. It comes to baby making, all of a sudden she's hesitant. <laughs> there you go, a romp in the hay. <gasps> and Sophia is pregnant, you guys. Sophia is pregnant. And he's loving this. Look at it. Rolling in the hay. He's so happy. Well, I'm going to send them all to bed now. Now that we finally get it. And now she is pregnant. Lindsay just popped. This is all really cool stuff, you guys. I'm kind of happy. And uh, when we come back tomorrow, I think Jeb's going to try and get Alicia pregnant as well. All the other wives are, why not her? <laughs> oh, but she's about to experience some morning sickness. Well, maybe that's because of the bun that's baking inside of her oven that she didn't want, but we're making her have anyway. I wonder if she's having twins, because her belly's already big, and she's only been pregnant for like one day. I hope Lindsay is trying to talk Alicia into getting pregnant too, because I want her to get pregnant. Like, more than anything, I want her to want to get pregnant, but she doesn't even want to get pregnant, you know?